Bahar writes, Hi Collider team, I love your show and watch it every day. We were told that the Warcraft trailer would be released a few weeks after San Diego Comic Con, but it's been a few months and we've still yet to see anything. My question is, what happened and when are we going to see a Warcraft trailer? I read in an interview with Duncan Jones, he was saying November next month mm. that they're going to do one. I, yeah, I, I had heard that they were going to release one, but I think what happened was, because I, I, I think you, you were at, a, right. at Hall H as well. I think when they released it, I think they were expecting people to be like their minds to be blown, but it was just good. It wasn't like great. And I think they wanted to spend more time on the visual effects because it, it looked good, but it still looked like a video game. And I think they wanted people to have a better like uh, idea of it. What do I, you guys think? I felt like I was watching uh, my friend play the video game. And I also felt like I was watching some scene from the Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies, which is mm. not what I wanted to see from Warcraft. I know it's based on a game, and I think one of the big problems or one of the issues that they're going to have to overcome is that you're not just facing an enemy that's all CGI. It's not like there's a bunch of human beings that are facing bad guys that are CGI. There's people that you're rooting for that are entirely CGI or motion capture, performance capture created, and that has to look realistic enough to where you can bond with those characters emotionally, and that trailer did not do that job well. There's some other really cool things about the trailer, like the action looks awesome, it looks like a fun, epic movie, but it just didn't have that, you know, that awesome, oh man, I can't wait to see that reaction that we thought we were going to get from Comic-Con, so I understand why they might want to take a little more time before they show the footage to the rest of the world. Uh, this scares me, honestly, from what you, I haven't seen the movie, mm -hmm. uh, the trailer, and from hearing from you guys, I know how excited you guys both were, and until today, and Comic-Con, I haven't heard you guys talk about it no. at all. And it's like it's one of those things that everyone was talking about, the Deadpool trailer and other things, and no one was really talking about that trailer. And I love Duncan Jones. I love yeah. I love Moon, and I love Source Code. Um, and I really want to see him take this step. And I want to see him be one of the guys responsible for the, for the video game boom, um, movie, video game movie boom. And it really it's it's disheartening to hear that it looks like the hobbit i wanted to, i wanted to hear it looked like lord of the rings but but time is not necessarily of the essence yet with the no. movie with the trailer coming out because from a marketing standpoint the movie comes out in 2016 i think the summer 2016 yeah. so having a first teaser trailer come out sometime around thanksgiving or even christmas is fine yeah but that's you know? not but that's not the even even if they put all the time and effort into it it's the fact that they're it, they're doing like you said doing the same thing hobbit did is where i think even I th to hear people that were in the movie say things along the line of that there shouldn't have been as much CGI for The Hobbit, you know, and and if, like, if you look at like the orcs in Lord of the Rings, so much more devastating and powerful because they were dudes in makeup, you know, they were do and and that's kind of what I was hoping we get we get a lot more of that. And and look, I have not seen the trailer, so I don't know. I'm just going off of things that I've heard from 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 these guys and other people too. But I, just, I hope that there's more practical effects as well as CGI. You have to have CGI yes. in this movie. Yeah, Christian, I'm with you. I haven't seen the trailer either, but um, you know, I love Duncan Jones. I think he's an excellent filmmaker. I know he's a new filmmaker. He's a young filmmaker, but I think he has such potential. And similarly, I would love to see the um, the video game boom happen. Um, that being said, I did want to mention, you know, we, um, you know, in terms of the CG characters and things like that, you know, I love what they've done in the Planet of the Apes movies. And if there's ever, you know, a positive case for a CG character, Character, a CG creature, it's what they've been able to do right. in those movies. So here's hoping that it's more along those lines. That's also straight up performance capture Absolutely. as well, too. I just want to make like if you're telling me if you were telling me that this was performance capture uh, and not just not just CGI, like that, that the creatures were people. I think it was doing a the performance. I think it was pretty. Yeah, good it was mixed. mixed. That's great. That I'm, I'm like I said, I haven't seen it, so I'm on, I'm on board for that because yeah, to take like CG, you have to, Planet of the Apes, one of my favorite. Uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was one of my favorite movies um, last year, and. And CGI, you have you can't do that movie without CGI. Yeah. So I, that's that's what I mean. I know it was just a short clip, but I didn't get that emotional response or mm -hmm. connection to the characters like I did with Dawn right. of the Planet Apes. Right. Like with that one, I'm like, oh, I feel for those characters. I'm on their side. And I think that's what they wanted to do with the orcs on this. I just don't think they succeeded, at least not yet. 